You're awake. Jeez, I was getting worried about you, kid. It's not every day you see a, a raggedy kid sleeping in some buffalo pen. Well, I kind of had to leave my own home. Well, looks like we got ourselves a runaway, huh? Why'd you leave, son? Well, somebody was doing very bad things to my family, the Beals. You've probably heard of them. 728 Sycamore down in East End. East End? No. In fact... Jeffrey. Jeffrey McGee. I don't know anyone from the East End. Hey, I was going to eat that, but I guess you can have it. Um, m Mr. Grayson. Uh, can I ask you a favor? Yeah? Could we get some crumpets? We've had a lot of these with them. You mean the Beals? Then yes. Well, here we are. You slept with them blacks? Black is a color. They're people. Give me care, but I've never seen a white kid like us want to sleep with black people. No, just people, please. I say, you look mighty sharp in that new shirt of yours. Thanks for taking me to the Y, Grayson, and getting me all unraggedy. My only concern now is, where are you going to sleep tonight? Well, how about your place? Uh, big problem. Only one bed. Well, how about the band shell? Could just set up a sleeping bag in there. Wow, I don't know, kid. That's a mighty hard floor. Well, perfect. I'm getting a stand of mattress. Could you tell me a story? Mrs. Beals told me one every night, and it's a thing I just kind of gotten used to. Kid, kid, I ain't got no stories. Well, you gotta have some sort of story, like when you were my age. I grew up on the north side of town. Get the story on how I got my first bike. 